Wonderful good day to the mining news on Commodity TV, ladies and gentlemen. Today with Alpha Lithium Hand and Metals, Gold Royalty and Targa Exploration. Takeover rumors at Alpha Lithium? What's going on there? The company announced that it has entered into a shareholder rights plan pursuant to an agreement with Computer Share Trust Company of Canada as rights agent effective by 14th February this year. The adoption of the rights plan is intended to ensure to the maximum extent practicable that all shareholders of the company are treated fairly in connection with an unsolicited takeover bid or other acquisition of control of or a substantial interest in the company and to prevent control of the company from being obtained through the acquisition of common shares exempt from applicable Canadian takeover bid rules, also referred to as creeping takeover bids. Lithium is hot and good companies are coveted in the M&A market. Also, the company reported a receipt of independent confirmation for the large freshwater discovery in the Tolijazala in Argentina. This supports a sustainable supply of 50,000 tons per year for the company's planned LCE production facility. The freshwater discovery is a key competitive advantage compared to other lithium brand salars in the region and makes alpha lithium highly desirable and vulnerable to a takeover attempt. The preliminary study, which began eight months ago, shows that the freshwater aquifer within the Tolijazala mining areas can sustain freshwater withdrawals of 583 cubic meters per hour without impacting freshwater reserves in this area of the basin. The study relates to only one of three freshwater targets the company plans to explore on its Tolijar property. Much of the lithium triangle surrounding the Tolijazala is classified as high altitude desert with near zero absolute humidity, making the area drier than the Sahara Desert and among the driest places on Earth. Since fresh water is rarely abundant in the lithium triangle, which is necessary for the production of lithium chemicals, the discovery of an industrial-scale supply represents a tremendous competitive advantage for the company. According to the study conducted by industry expert Conhydro, uh, SRL, Alpha enjoys the advantage of controlling a very large aquifer that can supply large volumes of fresh water at high rates and most importantly, the company does not have to compete with other regional producers for that fresh water. Alpha Lithium is hot and we see an initial price target of the company of the share price for about 3 to 4 Canadian dollars. Hell and Metals provided an update on its Belen Copper Gold target at the company's 100% owned Valiente project in Peru, where a large field team has remained active in recent months. The Belen Copper Gold Porphyry is located 19 kilometers east of the community of Tingo Maria in central Peru within a previously unknown Miocene porphyry epithermal copper gold mineralized belt. The Belen project is located in a 140 km by 50 km area large, referred to as the Valentia project, where an exploration team has identified at least seven intrusion-related porphyry epithermal scan targets, of which Belen is the most advanced and is described in more detail here. Field teams were active during the last quarter within with a 10-person exploration team continuing to expand and strengthen exploration targets at Belen. Mineralization was defined over an expanded 8 to 10 km strike area. Early indications of the development of a high-grade system at Sortileggio showed results of up to 16% copper and 4.4 grams gold per ton from a porphyry block grab sample. Permits for the start of the environmental impact statement at Belen have been granted by the authorities. The DIA is the main environmental certification required to undertake low-impact mineral exploration programs, including drilling programs in Peru. Despite the political challenges Peru has experienced in recent months, Helen's team have continued to be very active on the ground and positive interactions with local stakeholders have continued. Momentum at Valiente remains high. The field team's work continues to successfully expand and refine the mineral system at Belen. The high-grade copper gold lumps at Sortileggio within the Belen trend show the potential of a new high-grade target at Sortileggio and, importantly, one is now mapping mineralization over a large area. This is underlined by the development of the 4km base metal gold scan target east of Sortileggio within the 10km contiguous porphyry copper gold and epithermal gold mineral system. Having received approvals to commence detailed drilling permits, 2023 should be very exciting for Hanna Metals. We are positive for the stock.
Gold Royalty was able to secure a new loan agreement with the Bank of Montreal and the National Bank of Canada. The existing secured revolving credit facility will be expanded by 10 million US dollars to 35 million US dollars. The expanded credit facility consists of a 20 million dollar unsecured revolving credit facility with an accordion feature that provides for additional availability of 15 million dollars. The facility which is secured by the assets of the company is available for general corporate purposes, acquisitions and capital expenditures and bears interest at a rate equal to the prime rate plus a margin of 3% or the adjusted term SOFR plus a margin of 4%. The facility matures on 31st March 2025. Gold Royalty also now joined the United Nations Global Compact, the UN Global Compact, the world's largest corporate sustainability initiative. Established in 2000, the UN Global Compact includes more than 17,000 companies from 177 countries. As a participant, Gold Royalty has voluntarily committed to align its operations and strategy with the 10 universally accepted principles in the areas of human rights, labor standards, environmental protection and anti-corruption and to take action in support of the broader goals of the UN Global Compact, including the Sustainable Development Goals. They also declared a cash dividend of 1 US cent per common share for the first quarter of 2023. The dividend will be paid on 13th April with a record for shareholders on 31st March. Tiger Exploration entered into an operating services agreement with Kennerland Minerals. Under the terms of this agreement, Kennerland agrees to act as technical advisor and provide certain operational services in connection with the most recently acquired Opinaka Lithium project located in the James Bay region of northern Quebec province and two mineral exploration concessions covering numerous occurrences of lithium-bearing pegmatite in eastern Manitoba province. This will allow Targa to unlock the potential of its lithium projects as early as this year. Please note the disclaimer, superimposed now. The shares discussed are part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I'm a shareholder in all companies. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.